Well, with the support of Mayor Tim Kelly, the Chattanooga Chamber of Commerce is stepping in to address issues of racial equity within the scenic city. News 12's Winston Reed spoke with business owners about their thoughts on the chamber being involved in social justice. The Chattanooga Chamber of Commerce created a pledge titled CEOs for Racial Equity. To lead the nation in racial reconciliation and begin to close these gaps by recognizing the damaging legacy of structural racism. In the statement, the pledge reads in part, CEOs for Racial Equity stands united to expand quality opportunities and strengthen income gaps that exist in our community. So far, over 50 business leaders from Volkswagen, CHR Memorial, and Blue Cross Blue Shield have signed the pledge, making the commitment to close the income gap between racial demographics. Kerry Hayes, who is a founder of his own public affairs agency, signed his name as well. This is the kind of thing that young workers are looking for when they're looking to come into the city, if they're looking to bring a business into a city. It's this kind of work that really differentiates us from our peer cities. And to that end, I, I think the chamber is absolutely appropriate in every, everything that they're doing. Terrell Torrance, co-owner of the black-owned eatery Uncle Larry's, believes the chamber has every right to take action against the racial disparities within the city. They're actually the resource they're the actual voice for you know to bridge that gap i mean if they don't speak up for us and do those type of things then really who will i think that everybody should have a chance to prosper everybody uh, who wants to find a job should be able to get a job everybody who wants to start a business should be able to start a business uh, and i think that everybody who is looking to participate in this economy's growth should have a chance to do that and that's what the pledge is about to read the entire pledge go to our website that's wdef.com reporting in chattanooga winston reed News 12 now.